So up, y'all? It's me, Shibuya. How's it going? Today we're over at the Old Ruins. This we're going to be farming the Shimmering Quill. The Shimmering Quill uh, is used to create a bow. And this bow, uh, basically, uh, I think it's like an, a, a decent bow. Uh, basically, it always rolls attack speed, and it also always rolls um, critical strike damage. And don't know it's 35% critical strike damage. Demon Hunters, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't really... Actually, I, I don't know if critical strike damage is good at 35%, like it's worth, uh, you know, like an, a, a primary stat, but, uh, you know, if it is, then this is what you want, and uh, basically you can go in any of these little uh, cellars, and the quill beasts inside them can drop them, there's a shimmering quill, and uh, actually what I what I started doing whenever I farmed this is basically you can do a special run, this, you know, people are doing it called like uh, Rumford runs or something like that, and uh, basically you do Act 1, and um, Basically, this is going to allow you to do basically the same thing and also get some more experience at the same time. And you do um, Rumford at the gate, so Act 1, second quest. And basically, you're just going to go through the quest all the way up to where you kill the wretch mother. And that's going to allow you to check all of the sellers as you would already for farming for this item. And at the same time, get experience. And uh, actually, you get a, I mean, a pretty good amount of experience. Like, honestly, like people were telling me how, like, oh, this is better than, like, doing riffs or whatever else. Yeah, that's fucking wrong. It's not... Like I've tried this before. Um, it's like even if you're if you're just booking it, I mean, this is gonna be maybe on par with doing this. I don't really think it's very good at all. But you know, I mean, if you think it's better, then you can do this all the time. And uh, if you have been doing this, you probably got a thousand of these shimmering quills. I'm doing this on T3, and uh, as you guys may know, uh, the legendary drop rates have been increased, and so uh, you definitely want to do this on this as high of a tournament level as possible. Uh, you can clear all the packs uh, if you want. Uh, I just, I'm starting, a, I'm trying a new build, and so I do uh, spend some time here killing just random different mobs. Uh, besides Sarkoth, who is usually the one that I end up killing, um, there are two other cool beasts that can drop it. Uh, there's another one that spawns at another cellar, I think it's like Goldera or something like that. And uh, then there's one uh, from, what is it, Act 3, that keep Death Level 1 thorn back. And uh, yeah, Golthara is the other one. And uh, basically those three can drop the Shimmering Quill. And again, that's used for a, a Demon Hunter bow, two-handed, obviously. And uh, you want to check all the sellers, because sometimes uh, elites can be in them that you can kill, and uh, you know treasure chests. Um, there's also, oftentimes, a treasure goblin. And um, depending on which seller it is, it can also have one of these rare uh, Quill Beasts in it, where there's actually, apparently, a pretty high chance of that happening. And so, honestly, uh, I would say this is a th this is definitely one of the easier ones to farm, especially for a tuned weapon, like uh, a bow. Like I know that people are telling me that like Manticore isn't really that good now because it can't roll two sockets and the uh, crit damage doesn't really make up for it. But uh, as I said before, I'm not as uh, I guess like educated in demon hunters. And another thing you want to do is you saw there is uh, you want to kill three wretch mothers because uh, oh and here's the uh, here's the dank star and so I'm killing Sarkoth again. And it does not drop this time. But you want to kill three wretch mothers because that's a bonus objective. And completing the bonus objective gives you bonus experience. And so it's like just in the, in the path of doing it, you're going to run into three of them. And just make sure you get, a, you, you get a kill on them just so you can get that extra experience. I mean, even if it's like one or two mil or something like that. I mean, that's one or two mil from killing three mobs, three white mobs. So, I mean, in my opinion, I think you're doing pretty good. And uh, as you can see, here's the wretch mother here. Uh, she doesn't really do much of anything. Like, honestly, this is like T3, and I'm just, you know, absolutely just destroying her. Oh, those are shitty bracers. Don't worry about those. I tried to re-roll them. They didn't re-roll what I wanted. And uh, anyway, there's some other uh, some other uh, sellers that can spawn in this area, too. So make sure that you kind of go and stake out the area. And um, basically uh, make sure that there's nothing else that you're going to want out of there. And uh, then you can port back to town and turn in the quests. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can go and reset the quest and do this as many times as you want to get as many quills as you need. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.